What's going on everybody, Super Mando Bros here, and today we're taking a look at this Child and Mandalorian plush 2-pack. Now, usually I would have some fancy editing to explain what the show is, or these characters, stuff like that, but everyone knows the Child, slash Baby Yoda, slash Grogu, and everyone knows who the Mandalorian is, Din Djarin. So I feel like I don't need to talk about that here. We already know what the characters are, and we already know that these are plushes. Uh, but I don't know that much about this, all I know is that it was made by Mattel, and uh, so far I've seen that at Kohl's, so I'm pretty sure it's a Kohl's exclusive. Not sure about that. Taking a look at the packaging here, we have this little hole here where you can grab the plushes and feel them and stuff. Yeah. Uh, bottom here, Star Wars Mandalorian, uh, Cole's thing. That's not on the box, that's just they put that on there. Price point is $30, which I believe works here, but I gotta see. Uh, the Mandalorian render from Season 1, Disney Plus logo, 3 and up, Mattel. On this side here, this render of the Mandalorian and Star Wars Mandalorian logos. Uh, other side is the same thing, and the top is the same thing. On the back here, we have the Star Wars Mandalorian logo, and this little brief description of this two-pack. As one of the most feared bounty hunters in the galaxy, the Mandalorian never expected to be shielding this 50-year-old child from his rivals and enemies. Now you can protect this lovable little creature just like the Mandalorian does, has a different language. This image from, I'm not sure, season, I'm pretty sure it's season one, I'm not quite sure about that, but definitely, I think it's season one. Star Wars, Star Mandalorian the Child, made in China, and the bottom, a uh, whole bunch of legal stuff. Uh, so yeah, well, further ado, let's get into it. I gotta get something in there. I'm pretty sure that's not the right way to do it, but I don't have anything else. Come so on, open up. Uh, I don't want to destroy the box. I like the way the box looks. All right, I'm getting it out. I think. I hope. Oh! Oh! Yeah, there we go. Got <laughs> it open, finally. Now I got the plush out of the packaging. Now, something interesting is that the background can actually be removed so you can take it out easier. And there's actually the guild logo back here, which is pretty cool. I really do like the way that background looks, but I'm gonna keep it in the box. The first character we're looking at today is the child, or Baby Yoda, or Grogu. And yeah, this is definitely one of the better looking Baby Yoda plushes, which is the most marketable character in Star Wars at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely one of the better looking ones. There's a lot of them that just aren't really good, and this one definitely works better. They, they don't have any feet on him. Some do, some don't, so with that tag back here star wars uh lucasfilm made in china stuff like that uh he's currently t-posing uh he's made out of a these regular plush material that you always find everywhere i'm not quite sure what it's called yeah this area here is definitely made out of different material and it's not really connected that great it's connected here and here and back here but not really up here which is odd so you can just move it around so what happened to mine apparently is that this lost its stitching here so now it's just flying over the place which I'm fine with it's not that big of a deal down here we actually have some more detail on this robe I'm not really quite sure what to call this robe uh, coat not really sure they use the same exact material on the arms here and on the arms they do have some detail here uh, which is on the actual physical fabric which is nice uh, both hands there take a look at the face here the face definitely looks pretty good uh, the eyes to me just look a bit off here like the way that it's just made like that i don't know why it's just really off to me it does look really good and it's quite cute I'm not gonna lie this is definitely one of the cuter ones uh, his mouth is stitched on right there he has a little nose here uh, not that much detail up here which i understand not that big of a deal on the back here not that much detail his ears the inside of the ears are made out of different fabric than the outside of the ears which works really well i really do like that yeah look at that he's a cute guy i really do like the way this one looks this is definitely one of my favorite uh baby yoda plushes now let's move on to the mandalorian you can't really stand up which is fine i guess wish you could stand up though the next character we have here is the Mandalorian, or Din Djarin, and I really do like the way this one looks. This is the first, I believe the first uh, actual Mandalorian plush, I'm not I'm not counting the Build-A-Bear plush, but yeah, I really do like the way this one looks. Let's take a look down here on his feet, his feet are made out of this different material than the rest of the body, which works great, let people know that it's shoot. The detailing is also is printed on the fabric, which looks great. I really do like the way that looks, and it definitely works here. There's some detailing here, here, and right here. They stitch his feet on a very weird angle, so he doesn't he can't stand up properly, and he can't really sit down properly. So they just they did that really weird. I don't get why they did that. I guess they did it so you could get him to sit down, 
but he can't sit down properly so there's nothing you can really do about that it's just something that i noticed that is kind of weird take a look at the chest here let's turn on this light right here take a look at the chest there's some nice stitching detail here this is all stitching there's no printed stuff on the fabric right here and it really i like the way that looks it looks really good it definitely looks like his best car armor they use this leather type material to make his belt and this strap here which works because well it's a belt and a strap on the side here star wars lucasfilm and mattel on the side this entire leather belt slash <laughs> strap goes around the entire body and then he has this cape here which is made out of different fabric than the rest which is very loose as well so you could make it look like this a bit or just have it in the back up to you taking a look at his arms here there's some printed detail here and here and his entire hand is actually is printed with separate colors here which is very interesting this area here is raised up slightly over the rest of the plush which is interesting there's also some printed detail here nothing on the back and this arm is about the same as this one so this one has some slightly different detail here now uh, you can see the top of his armor right there and right there looked a bit off there which i don't really like it doesn't really look that great on it but mm, it's fine looks like it's actually a bit off this one looks it looks it does look really off yeah it's kind of off take a look at his head his head looks really well done they did all this nice detail here and i really do like that they all stitched it on uh this visor area here and these two areas here are made out of different material than the rest of the helmet which is great i really do like that and on the bottom we have this cardboard area here to keep the head up and in a nice uh shape but that can easily bend and break so please be careful about that uh but yeah it looks nice here on the side here we have his little side areas here uh which is raised up slightly higher than the rest of the plush same with this side here and this up here this doesn't actually go around the entire head which is interesting and on the back there is not that much detail and yeah that is Din Djarin or the Mandalorian so getting Baby Yoda back here, we have a lot of Baby Yoda plushes here, so let's do some size comparisons with the other Baby Yoda plushes I have. So here is this version of Baby Yoda next to the next to the Lego Star Wars Baby Yoda plush, and this one is slightly bigger than the Lego one, which is fine. And looks definitely way better. Uh, the Lego one is more stylized to oh, stop falling. But yeah, this one's definitely more stylized towards the actual Lego minifigure, which makes sense because it's a Lego Star Wars plush. But it still doesn't make it look that great. I was going to review this guy. Uh, haven't yet. I might do it in the future though. But yeah, there's a, they actually added detail on the top of his head. This one didn't. So, uh, this, this one is one up slightly. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, this one is definitely better than this one. Next up, we have the Build-A-Bear Baby Yoda plush. This one was very interesting because I went to Walmart not expecting to find a Build-A-Bear. There was a Build-A-Bear there and we got Baby Yoda because... Why not? Uh, but yeah, this one's definitely bigger. Uh, I think this one is slightly better. This one definitely has some problems, like for instance, his mouth. Well, I don't know, that's like the only issue I have with this plush. But everything else, I really do like this one. And yeah, compared to the two, this one's definitely bigger. It doesn't even fit on screen right here. So yeah. And the final one we're taking a look at is actually another Mattel one. It's this Baby Yoda plush here. This one's the original, not the re-release where they made him slightly greener. <laughs> but yeah, this one's definitely the most accurate out of any other Baby Yoda plush. Picture. I'm quite mixed on which one I like better, but I really do like this one. This one's definitely great. It's definitely bigger. That one's slowly falling. But yeah, this one is definitely bigger than this one, which makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I really do like this one. Uh, I'm, I'm still mixed on which one I like better. Now, here is all my Baby Yoda plushes next to uh, Din Djarin, and <laughs> he is definitely really small compared to most of these plushes. The only one that can somewhat work is with the Lego version, so... <laughs> Yeah, there's some there's some size differences here, I would say. But yeah, uh, here they are. <laughs> so overall, these plushes are great. I really do like them. There are some problems with them, but overall, they are fantastic plushes. Like, look at these, man. They look so dang good. Yeah, if you're a fan of Mandalorian, if you like collecting Baby Yoda plushes, this one's perfect. If you're a fan of Mandalorian, this one's perfect. If you have someone that you have someone that you know that really likes them, it's the holiday season. It's getting really close to that, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, this was filmed in December, so uh, really close to Christmas. So yeah, this would be a perfect Christmas gift for anyone who is a fan of the Mandalorian because it's the two best characters of the show, in my opinion. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section below. below. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I will see you guys later in another video. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye.